Welcome to Talking IoT, a series featuring short, just enlightening conversations on what's happening across Internet of Things. I'm your host, Silicon Labs Chief Marketing Officer, Megan Leaders, and here with me today is Silicon Labs President, Matt Johnson. Welcome, Matt. Hey, Megan. Great to be here. Thank you. Um, there was some big news in the IoT industry with Zigbee Alliance rebranding. Uh, now They are now called the Connectivity Standards Alliance, and also Project Chip has now been branded and their new name is Matter. I'd love to get your thoughts on Matter and what it means to the IoT industry. Uh, maybe I'll start with the, the name and then talk about what's behind the name and why that matters so much, uh, because I think both are important. The first piece is you know, changing to the Connectivity Standards Alliance. That's a big thing because it shows that our industry is moving forward and converging. And it's really about the broader objective of getting things to connect and not just about one technology. And that's really encouraging because you're seeing it's an alliance of technologies now, not an alliance of a technology. So I think that's, that's a big step in itself. And what matter is working to accomplish is much bigger than the home. It encompasses the home, but we really want a vision that even goes beyond that in terms of what's possible for connectivity. So, you know, matter is the building block of things. And in this case, the building blocks of connecting things. So there's a lot to, you know, the name change, but even more importantly, what's behind the name change and why does matter uh, matter, if you will, in this case. And I, I think it's such a big deal because what it's doing is moving our industry forward around connectivity, right? We all have, I think, the same vision and unified desire to see connectivity accelerate and to make it easier for things to connect in our space. And that's the vision behind Matter. And that's the vision we've had for a long time. And so it's really easy to get behind this and excited about it because we're seeing the industry start to converge on that vision and mission. Well, perfect. And you mentioned us getting behind it. And in fact, Silicon Labs has been involved from the beginning, um, from, from the initial design concept stage of Matter. Can you share some details on, on how we've contributed to this? Yeah, uh, we've, maybe for starters, we've had this vision for a long time in terms of unifying the space. And kind of a couple big proof points of that is, you know, we recently announced as a company we're 100% dedicated to IoT wireless now and focused on this space. And as part of that, you know, focus and vision, we've never believed it was about one technology. We believe that it would take multiple technologies to really make the IoT happen and realize its full potential. And what we saw in formerly CHIP, now Matter, was that same type of vision and desire to start connecting and unifying these technologies to create a bigger and better experience. So, you know, simply put, Matter helps simplify wireless connectivity. And because of that, it de accelerates device development and will accelerate the growth of connected devices. We've contributed over 20% of the source code that went into uh, formerly CHIP, now Matter, because we wanna see it succeed and we believe in the mission. And that's also why we're doing uh, support for Matter and our devices moving forward, because we believe in what the mission is and what it can help accomplish. Perfect, and, and I know at kind of a high level with Matter, it's meant to ensure um, that IoT devices can talk to one another. It's what we've all strived to see happen in the future. And we want to see them talk to each other across protocols and security. Right. Can you touch on why that's so important, in particular that last piece? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big mission, right? If you think about it, uh, you know, the IoT really does need that reliability, that ease of use and security if it's going to reach its uh, you know, true potential and, and have the impact we all know it can and should have. And that's what Matter uh, is putting itself behind and helping accelerate those items. Now, I, I want to be fair, it, you can't put it all on, on Matter to accomplish this, but an easy way to think about it is, the IoT depends on a different experience in terms of these technologies scaling and coming together and improving the developer experience and improving the consumer experience. So that's what Matter has focused on and we believe in that mission. So we're really uh, committed to it and excited to see it happen. 
if we can get to a user experience that's better and a developer experience that's better, that starts opening the door to a whole new world of possibilities because you see accelerated adoption of connected devices. And once that happens, you know, the sky's the limit in terms of what's possible uh, at a global scale and at a technology scale. And that's incredibly exciting to think about. And we do this because we believe that the only way the industry is gonna achieve what we're trying to do is by these companies collaborating and working together. And I can give you a quick example. Uh, uh, we don't believe that keeping a technology uh, away from the market or having a walled garden is going to achieve the best result for the industry. And you know, if you look back at the history of our space, there's not a lot of examples where that really succeeded. You only get the results you want and need when the industry collaborates towards a greater goal, a greater good, a greater objective. So that's why we took Z-Wave and opened it up and made the alliance such that anyone could join, including other semiconductor companies, because we really want to see this space, uh, you know, uh, how do I say? We want to see the industry succeed and we want to see our customers succeed. And we think that by participating in these and making them open, it drives the best result. Same reason we contributed so much source code to matter. Agreed. And, and so super exciting on this, this alliance side and what's happening today with the announcement. What, what are the other exciting developments that we can expect to see in IoT over the next few years? Uh, security is a great example where I think we're going to hear and see a lot more about security. Uh, and just to be fair, in a good way, in a bad way, in a bad way that we're going to have a lot more attention on security and a lot more issues around security moving forward. But on the flip side, we see a lot more innovation and commitment from our industry to harden our solutions and make the IoT more robust uh, around security. So I think security has become an increasingly bigger topic for our space moving forward. Another one, it's, it's obvious, but machine learning, uh, it's still relatively early days in the IoT, but we really see an acceleration in end or edge devices embracing in particular machine learning and it's opening up a whole new set of possibilities for our customers and helping improve the end experience. So I think that's gonna be exciting as well. It's also worth mentioning Sidewalk. Uh, Sidewalk is increasing in its, I think, influence and potential impact. And you know, it's still relatively early days, but I think you're gonna see more on Sidewalk uh, in the coming uh, weeks, months, and years as well. But I think that's kind of the, you know, the the technologies and, and some of the things that will influence our space, I think the bigger trend that's worth talking about is if you step back, we're really in an inflection point of our industry. And the reason I say that is we see this perfect combination of some of the biggest problems are starting to get solved, like the ease of connectivity and accelerating wireless adoption. And that opens up a whole new world of possibilities that our industry talks about connected devices in the billions. And pretty soon we're talking hundreds of billions and soon it'll be trillions. And when you get there, that opens up a whole new world of what's possible in terms of applications, business models, making the world a better place. And you can't even uh, imagine all the different possibilities that come from that. And we have examples of that in history when new technologies and new experiences, think of mobile devices and smartphones introducing all the different models and influence they've had. And then imagine literally hundreds of billions of connected devices and what that opens up in terms of possibility. So we are very rapidly getting into that phase of the IoT and that's incredibly exciting and that's one of the reasons why we've committed and dedicated Silicon Labs to be 100% focused on the IoT moving forward because we see that opportunity and we see the potential here and it's incredibly exciting. So we want to be, you know, not just a part of that moving forward, but remain a driver of that like we've been over the past few years. Well, Matt, thanks so much for joining today. We, we definitely appreciate your insights into the matter announcement and what it means for IoT. Uh, for more information on how Silicon Labs is supporting Matter, please visit our website at scilabs.com slash matter. Thank you again.